So the first one we are going to study about the plant tissues is the meristematic tissues. Meristematic tissue. So what are these meristematic tissues and where are they found? We can see the prominence of the meristematic tissues with the help of a simple activity. So already we discussed at the point that meristematic tissues are the growing, actively growing tissues of a plant. So the meristematic tissues are of three different types. They are apical meristem, apical lateral and intercalary. So let us see what are these apical lateral intercalary and their location where they are found in a plant. Before that, let us see that activity what I told to observe the activity, the active growth, the prominence of the meristematic tissue. So we have taken an onion bulb and we kept the onion bulb in a bottle with water. See that the roots part of the onion touching the water. And we kept the bulb in this inverted position. So you see what happens. If you observe it for few days, the roots will be actively growing. The roots will be actively growing down. You can see, you can measure it day by day. You can make a table one day, first day, second day, third day. You can see the improvement in the length so quickly growing. That means if you keep the onion bulb here, one particular part of the onion is actively growing. Those are the roots are growing up. Even in the root, if this is the root growing up, if you consider this is the root growing up, even in this root, which part is actively growing up? So you observe it uh, for some three to four days. You found that the roots are very gro long, grown up like this. Now what you did is, you cut one centimeter of the tips of the roots. So one centimeter. From the ending to one centimeter, you cut the tips of the roots. Again, you place it this onion in the beaker. But the difference from here to here is here you cut the roots which were grown earlier. Once the tips of the roots are removed, the growth is decreased. You will find that the growth is decreased. What does it show? The tips are actively growing. The tips contain some substances. The tips, uh, the tips, they contain some active tissue which actively grows. So, the meristematic tissue is an actively growing tissue which consists of actively dividing cells. It is found in different parts of the plant, especially the apical meristem. It is found in the tips of shoot and root. So it is found in the tip of root and shoot and it helps in increasing the length of the plant. Roots lengthwise growing, shoot lengthwise growing up and this growth is achieved by the apical meristem. It is responsible and where is it found location tips of shoot and root. What is its function? Its function is to increase the growth and it is also responsible for the growth. So the meristematic tissues are formed, the meristematic tissue it forms the new cells. And after some time, the new cells, they are differentiated. They, may, they undergo certain changes and they become into some other tissues, permanent tissues. So the meristematic tissues, whatever are produced, so they divide and divide. After some time, they stop dividing and they change into some other tissue. In this way, they will modify. But initially, they are formed as a meristematic tissue. So the apical meristem is found in the tips of the shoots and roots. Lateral meristem, it helps in increasing the girth of the plant, that is the width of the plant. Plant not only grows lengthwise, if it does so, it will be very pale and lean and thin. So when the tree is like a plant, it is thin. But as it is growing up, not only its height, its width also increases. Its trunk, its stem becomes fat and fat and becomes like a trunk. So the width increases. It happens because of the lateral meristem, which is found in the cambium part. So what is this cambium part? If you uh, see the cross section of a stem, 
this is the stem you will find certain structures called vascular bundles so at this point it forms a ring called cambium so in the cambium this lateral meristem is formed if you see the wooden log a very big wooden log if the log is cut a big wooden log is cut so this is the wooden log inside the wooden log you can see certain ring like structures you will find some ring like structures so what are those rings called as those are the cambium rings those are the cambium rings so annually the rings are formed year by year so that is the cambium so actually when that cambium if this is wood means those are all dead cells so when it was active at that time here at this region of this cambium ring you find certain cells called as lateral meristematic tissue which will help in increasing the width of the plant so that is the lateral meristem it is found in the cambium ring cambium region it is found in the cambium region and intercalary meristem so what is this intercalary meristem intercalary meristem is found in between the internodal space so nodes you know on the stem there are certain places or points where a leaf or a branch arises is called as a node this is a node this is a node and this is the stalk of a leaf from here the leaf comes so at this point and at this point between the nodes at this point the intercalary meristem is found so the intercalary meristem also helps in increasing the height of the plant by increasing the tissue between two nodes so the space between one node to another node is increased by this intercalary meristem and at the base of the leaf also we find this intercalary meristem so the primary idea of the meristematic tissue is that actively growing cells they form a tissue called active uh, actively growing tissue that is the meristematic tissue so this is found in the actively growing parts of a plant the first thing we discussed is epical meristem which is found in the tip of a root and tip of the shoot you see in the gardens also the gardeners they'll be trimming the tips of the shoot so by that the new branches arise so they know that the tips are actively growing if they cut the tip of the plant some other branch will come so this will make the plant to come in a bushy shape not like a tall one so in this way these are the examples which let us know that the actively growing tissues are found in the tips of shoots that is the apical and lateral means the actively growing tissue is also found between the vascular bundles which increase the girth of the plant that is the lateral meristem and between one node to another node we find some other meristematic tissue called as intercalary meristematic tissue now let us see the permanent tissues the permanent tissues again there are two types simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue let us see what are they if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus